Hello everybody, welcome to Math Eric original channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we will solve linear equation involving fraction. Linear equation involving fraction. So let's begin. Let's say we have 5x minus 2 divided by 4 equal 7x plus 3 divided by 6. In this one, we have a fraction, a single fraction equal to a single fraction. So we've got a one fraction on the left side of the equation and we have one fraction on the right side of the equation. When you have only one fraction on each side of the equation, you can use the cross multiplication to solve it. Okay, so in this case here, we can go ahead and use the cross multiplication to save this. Okay, cross multiplication so how are we going to do that so the cross multiplication is when you draw a line from the numerator on the left side to the denominator on the right side and then you draw a line from the denominator of the left side to the numerator of the right side so this line means you multiply so you can rewrite the equation as 6 factor of 5x minus 2 equal to 4 factor of 7x plus 3. I simply take this number and multiply. So what I did, I take this number 4 and multiply by this number on the right side and then on the left side i take this number six and multiply by that number 5x minus two okay so now once you've done this we can go ahead and do applying the distributive property so remember distributive property is when you take this number on the outside you multiply it over here and then you take that same number you multiply to the second term so with that being said we're gonna have 6 times 5x is 30x and then we're gonna say 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. so that's for the left side then we're gonna do the same thing on the right side we're gonna take that 4 multiplied by the 7x and we're gonna take that same 4 multiplied by 3 so 4 times 7x is 28x and 4 times 3 is 12. Now we can go ahead and combine that term. So we're going to move all the x term on the left and everything else on the right. So 30x, since 28x is smaller than 30x, so I'm moving 28x on the left side of the equations. So how we can do that is by subtracting 28x on both sides. So we go ahead and subtract 28x here. And then we subtract 28x on this side. So once you've done this, you're going to have 30x minus 28x is 2x minus 12 equal 12. Now we need to move negative 12 on the other side. So to do that, we're going to use the inverse operation of negative, which is addition. So we're going to add 12 on each side of the equation. Then you're going to have 2x equal 24. Now, since we need x by itself, so we need 
to get rid of the 2. So to get rid of 2, we have to divide by 2. We divide it because 2 multiply x and the inverse operation for multiplication is division. So therefore, we're going to divide 2 on both sides. So that will give us x equal 12. Now, let's say we have negative 3, negative 3 over 2x minus 1, over 2x minus 1 equal 2 over 4x plus 7. Now again, on the left side of the equation, we have one single fraction. And on the right side of the equation, we also have one single fraction. So in this case, again, we can use the, uh, we can use the cross multiplication. So by drawing a line here, so doing, it's pretty much doing a diagonal line. Uh, so and drawing another line over here. So now, what we're doing here is having negative 3 times 4x plus 7 equal 2 times 2x minus 1. Then we can do our distributive property. So by taking negative 3 times 4x and also negative 3 times 7. And on this side, you can do 2, x, 2 times 2x and then 2 times negative 1. So negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Equal 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now, we need to combine that term. So, since negative 12 is less than 4, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 12x on both sides. So, we're going to add 12 here. So we add 12x and we add 12x. Now we have, on the left side, we have negative 21. So negative 12x plus 12x is 0. So we have negative 21 equal 4x plus 12x is 16x. And minus 2. Now we can go ahead and uh, get rid of that negative 2 by adding 2 on both sides of the equation. So if we add 2 here and we add 2 here, then you can see negative 21 plus 2 will be negative 19 equal 16x. Now, we can divide 16 on both sides of the equation. So you're going to end up with negative 19 over 16 equal x, which is x equal negative 19 over 16. What about this? We have 2 third x minus 1 half 
plus a quarter x 1 over 4 x equal 5 over 8 if you look on the left side of the equation you have about three fraction and on the right side you got one fraction so because we got a multiple fraction involved in one side of the equation we cannot use cross multiplication so what we need to do is to find the lcm of all the denominator and multiply the whole fraction by the lcm so how do we do that so we need to find the lcm of all this so let's go on the side to find the lcm of three two four and eight so we need to find the lcm of this right here so the way we're gonna do that we can what we're gonna do is to find what is the biggest number that can divide everything here okay so we know two is even we know four is even and we also know it is even number so therefore all three of them can be divided by two okay so i'm gonna put two here so we know we cannot divide three by two so that's gonna stay like this but two divided by two is one four divided by two is two eight divided by two is four so once you got one you're done so you're done with the two now let's go here so we don't divide by two again so two divided by two so i'm gonna use a different color so we're gonna divide by two again all right so we still cannot do anything here so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have to divide again by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 again. We still cannot do nothing here, but 2 divided by 2 is 1. So once you got 1, then you're done. Now we still have to deal with the 3. So for 3, we're just going to divide by 3. and that'll be one now what do i do with all this number is that i multiply them okay you multiply all of this number so, so two times two is four four times two is eight eight times two is 24. so which means the lcm here is 24. so the lcm is 24. so lcm for 3 2 4 and 8 is equal to 24 so i'm going to multiply everything by 24 so so i'm multiplying this by 24 multiply this by 24 multiply this by 24 and multiply this by 24 now once you multiply everything by 24 so you can you can simplify 24 divided by 3 uh, 24 divided by 3 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so that's 16 x 16 x 24 divided by 2 is 12 12 times 1 is 12 minus 12 24 divided by 4 is 6 6 times 1 is 6 so plus 6x equal 24 divided by 8 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15 equal 15 now i no longer have a fraction so that's the goal is to eliminate the fraction so we can make life easier so now 
we can go ahead and combine that term now. We know 16 plus 6 is 22. So that's 22x. Now remember, like term have numbers and the same variable with the same exponent. So x, x, they are like terms. So 16 plus 6 is 22. So that would be 22x. And then minus 12 equal 15. So now we need to go ahead and add 12 on both sides of the equation. When you add 12 on both sides, now on this side, you're going to have 22x. So 12, negative 12 plus 12 is 0. And 15 plus 12 is 27. Now, you go ahead and divide both sides by 22. Oh. You go ahead and divide both sides by 22. So that will be x equal 27 over 22 and that'll be your final answer now let's do another one so let's say we have x minus 1 over 5 minus 2 equal x minus 11 Of the five. Now, notice uh, again on the left side of the equation we got one fraction and that's we got two fraction here because every time you have a whole number that's like a fraction you could have put a uh, two over one that's the same thing as two. So uh, we can just do pretend that we have a one here. So we have two fraction on the left side. And we have one fraction on the right side. So because we have two fractions on the left side, you cannot use cross multiplication. So we have to find the LCM of 5, 1, and 5. Now, notice the LCM of 5 and 5 is just 5. And, and, and 1, of course, when anything is, is, is a multiple of 1. So the LCM for 5, 1, and 5 will be 5. So we can go ahead and multiply everything by 5. So you multiply this by 5. You multiply this by 5. And you multiply this by 5. Okay. So now, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So on this the first one you got x minus 1 left okay so because this 5 cancel this 5 and this 5 will cancel this 5 okay so uh, x minus 1 that's what we have left minus 5 times 2 is 10 because 5 divided by 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, so minus 10, equal x minus 11. Now, we can combine that term, so let's deal with one side at a time. So on the left side, we can combine negative 1 and negative 10. So negative 1 minus 10 is negative 11, so we're going to have x minus 11 on the left side and then we're going to have x minus 11 on the right side so notice both side is the same both side of the equation is the same so because both side is the same so your solution will be an infinite number of solution all right so your solution will be infinite number of solutions.
so we got infinite number of solutions so x is pretty much the way we write the solution for this thing when you have the left side equal to the right side of the equation we can say uh, x is equal to all real number okay so one way we can do that is putting uh, x so that x is all real numbers What does that mean is like any number you put you put for x it will satisfy the equation any number you put for x will satisfy the equation because they both have the same thing okay they both are identical now let's use another example let's say we have 1 minus 3x over 4 plus 2x plus 3 over 3 equal 1. Now, notice we have two different fractions in on the left side of the equation. So therefore, you cannot use cross multiplication. So we have to find the LCM of 4, 3. And now when you have a number, you can just put a 1 underneath. So 4, 3, and 1. But notice 4, 3, and 1, they have nothing in common. They have uh, uh, nothing that's, can, uh, that's 4 can divide and 3 can also divide and 1 can divide. So to find the LCM of those number, the small we can uh, since four is an even number, okay. So or we can say the smallest prime number here is three, okay. So we can put three. So three divided by three is one, and we cannot divide four by three, right? And one is already there. And the second one we're gonna do is. 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 then what you should do after that is multiply this together 3 times 4 is 12 so you're gonna multiply everything here by 12 12 12 and then 12 so once you multiply everything by 12 so on this side, you're going to have 12 divided by 4 is 3. You're going to have 3 times 1 minus 3x plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 factor of 2x plus 3 equal 12. Now we can use the, uh, the distributive property by doing 3 times 1 and 3 times negative 3x, 4 times 2 and 4 times 3. So uh, with that being said, we're going to have 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times negative 3x is negative 9x, plus 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 3 is 12, equal 12. Now we can go ahead and combine like terms. Term that can be combined is negative 9x and then 8x can combine. And also we can go ahead and combine 3 and 12. Okay. So now negative 9x plus 8x is negative x. And 3 plus 12 is plus 15 equal 12. Now we can go ahead and minus 15 on both sides, negative 15, negative 15. So that's to get rid of that 15 on the left side. So we got negative x equal 12 minus 15 is negative 3. 
Now we are not done yet. We need x by itself with no negative sign next to it. So for that, we can go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 1. So as a matter of fact, you can either multiply or divide by negative 1. So either way, you will be fine. So uh, negative 1 times negative x give me x. And negative 3 times negative 1 give me 3. So x is equal 3. Now let's do one last example. Let's say we have 2x minus 3 over 9 plus x x plus 1 over 2 equal x minus 4. Again, notice that we have two fraction on the left side of the equations. So on the right side, there is nothing, but we can just put a 1 underneath. When there is nothing, that simply means there is a 1. So, so now what we need to do is find the LCM of 9 and 2. Okay, 9 and 2. Because there is nothing here, we don't worry about it. So we're going to find the LCM for 9 and 2. So uh, 9 to have nothing in common. So the LCM is simply 9 times 2. Okay, so there is nothing here. So we're going to put 2 here. So that will be 1 and that will be nothing. And then we can put 9 and that will be 1. So 9 times 2 will be 18. So what we're going to do is multiply everything by 18. You multiply 18 on this side. You multiply 18 here. And you multiply 18 over here. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2. 2 factor of 2x minus 3. Plus, 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 factor of x plus 1 equal 18 times x is 18x or 18 factor of x minus 4. Okay, so now we can use the distributive property. So we take that 2 times 2x and that 2 times negative 3 and 9 times x, 9 times 1, 18 times x, 18 times negative 4. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Plus, 9 times x is 9x. And 9 times 1 is 9. Equal, 18 times x is 18x. And 18 times negative 4 is negative 72. Now, we can go ahead and combine like terms. On the left side, we can combine 4x and 9x. And we can also combine negative 6 and 9. So, let's do that. 4x plus 9x is 13x. Negative 6 plus 9 is positive 3. Equal 18x minus 72. Now let's combine like term again. So because 13 is less than 18, I like to move the smallest, when it's come for the variable, I like to move the smallest number wherever the largest number is. So since 13 is less than 18, so I'm moving 13 to 18 instead of 18 to 13. So I'm going to move 13 over to the right so I can combine it with the 18x. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 13x on both sides of the equation. So you got, here you got 0, that's can so that's 0. So you have 3 equal 18 minus 13 is 5x minus 72. Now, we can go ahead and add 
72 on both sides. Remember the goal is to keep x by itself. 3 plus 72 is 75. And then we're going to have 5x on the other side. Sorry. So we got 75 here, and then we're going to have 5x here. So now what we can do is divide both sides by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. And then we have 75 divided by 5 is 15, and then here we got x. So your final answer is x equal 15. Again, thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for any question, comment, suggestion, please put them in the comment. And I will see you for the next video. Bye-bye.